Hi everyone, welcome back to the Final Fantasy Brave XVS Global channel. As always, I'm Alexander, Alex or Eric, whichever you prefer, and today we're going to be doing a bit more of an explanation video because there's actually something really important. The difference between dual wield, double hand, and true double hand. Something which I personally didn't understand for a long time and which can actually have a great effect on your party and your party's total damage output. I was pretty surprised with what I learned and I'd like to share, with that, uh, share that with you today, so please, let's jump right in. So again, today we're going to be talking about the difference between dual wielding, double handing, and true double handing, basically. So if you're like me, uh, I was only familiar really with dual wielding, right, from, you know, playing Final Fantasy and other games, but there's actually quite a lot to these three different kinds of abilities. So first, dual wielding. This uh, basically lets you wield two one-handed weapons, right, one in each hand. And what this does is it basically lets you attack twice whenever you use an ability that does uh, physical or hybrid damage all while using uh, basically one single uh, MP cost. Right? You just use the ability once and it attacks twice. It's pretty awesome and it can deal a lot of damage. This also makes it really good for chaining uh, uh, because as you can attack twice you can get pretty long chains and deal a lot of damage. Now there is one thing to be a bit careful about. You, you know on uh, the character, say uh, this Ramza. As you can see, I have the dual wield ability equipped, and this, it explains, can equip two of any one-handed weapon. That's pretty good. And let's try to equip some, some weapons on him. Let's get on his right hand, let's get Erdrich's sword, and on his left hand, let's go ahead and grab the Crimson Saber, for example. As you can see, his attack went up significantly. However, right, it says he has 399 attack, but say for example you have uh, someone with three, uh, it, let's say it was 300 attack, a character that has base 150 attack damage, and then two weapons, say one 100, uh, 100 attack weapon damage and another 50 attack weapon damage. That would equal to 300 weapon damage, and so that's what it would show on this display. However, and here's the bit of the tricky part. Uh, attacking twice would not mean you would deal 600 damage. You would not deal twice uh, 300 damage. Instead, you would first deal the character's base damage along with the first weapon's damage, in this case 150 and 100, which would make 250, and then a second time the character's base damage along with the second weapon's damage. Uh, doing again uh, basically 200 damage the second attack through. So while you would deal in total 450 damage, which is more than the 300, it would not be twice the written, the displayed attack damage. And yeah, another reason that's really important, and this is something I never would have imagined uh, just by doing this myself, is that this is really important for chains. It, it basically means that you should in fact uh, hold your stronger weapon in your left hand, right? Have your more powerful weapon in your left hand and your weaker weapon in your right hand because when you when you are able to pull off a chain, basically you'll attack with the weaker weapon first in your right hand and the po more powerful weapon second in the left hand. And as you know, the damage multiplier increases uh, the longer the chain you get, which would make you significantly more powerful by wielding your more powerful weapon in the left hand. Are you still following? <laughs> it's gonna be pretty long, but next we're gonna move on to dual wield. Okay, so now let's take a look exactly at an example to illustrate what I was saying before. As you can see here, we're going to jump into this practice battle and see exactly how dual wielding affects your character's attack. So as you can see, right, first, uh, let's see, let's choose a physical ability, like this weapon break right here. And since I'm currently dual wielding, when I attack using this ability, you can see one and two. It actually attacks with the ability twice, which is pretty cool. 
You may have also noticed that the damage uh, on the first hit was higher than it was for the second hit because uh, I'm actually wielding a more powerful weapon in my right hand than I am in my left hand. So that's basically the difference between dual wielding and how it can help you in your attacks. As you can see here, these are going to be your main dual wielders and you'll want to make sure you use that with these characters. So we've been through dual wielding. Next, I want to try to explain double-handed to you. And there is a difference between these two, and it can be hard to understand. So for double-handed uh, things, basically it will increase your equipment's attack by 50% when you are single wielding a one-handed weapon. Now, what do I mean by that? And what does that exactly mean? As you can see on this screen right here, you can see that I have Erdrich's sword equipped. And as you can see, this is a one-handed weapon. Okay, sounds pretty good. 125 damage, pretty cool. But then if we go to my abilities, and over here, if I equip the, uh, where is that, the double-handed ability, got that there, you can see that my attack went up to 371 just like that. It increased by 50% basically with this double-handed ability which boosts equipment attack when armed with a one-handed weapon and the other hand is empty. In other words, in your equipment here, if on the left hand you equip the, uh, a shield for example, like let's go with this ice shield, your attack went down from 371 all the way down to 309. So in this case, it's better to actually just remove any shield or any other thing that you might have in your other hand. And this kind of makes the, it becomes two-handed and that's what we call double hand. Now the cool thing about this is that this ability increases not only uh, your weapons attack by 50%, but any other thing that you may have. For example, let's, uh, let's get something with uh, some attack uh, right here. Let's get the <laughs> Let's get some accessories that give attack. Let's get the small talisman, body. Okay, last while's closed. And another accessory. Let's go with Cupid's Handles. As you can see, uh, this actually increased uh, all of our equipment's total attack by 50%, not just our weapons, which can make double-handed a really powerful tool to use as an ability. Now, you will have to note that this does not work with percentage-based equipment like the Hero's Ring. On a similar note, you have other abilities that do plus 20% attack or, you know, you might be familiar with those, but those abilities do not actually raise uh, your overall uh, equipment attack, but your base character's attack. So you'll want to keep that in mind. And yeah, this is especially good for characters that are finisher types or that have that double uh, attacking types, like, you know, Hyo who can attack twice in one turn. That would be really good. The mistake I made with my own Hyo is that I had a shield again, and I basically doubled my damage by just removing that shield, and it basically became a lot stronger just by knowing how double-handed works. So use that to your advantage. Okay, so we've been through dual wield and double-handed. Now, we also have true double hand. Now, what is that? Yes, you may be wondering as I was, but I understand it perfectly now. And so I'm here to share that knowledge with you. So buckle in, let's get into true double hand. We'll be using Elfrida as an example because it'll be easier to understand that way. So first let's uh, equip a two-handed weapon on Elfrida. Let's go on the right hand, let's 
go oh right there we got the Taylor scissors and as you can see Taylor scissors it says two-handed right there so that will indeed be a two-handed weapon which means you can't equip another one-handed weapon with it or you can't equip a shield with it you can only have this two-handed weapon and as you can see our attack went up cool stuff but uh, what we what is really cool is that Elfrida in her special abilities she has true double hand right here as a passive ability so as a trait so if we click on that this actually boosts equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands so this will indeed increase our damage by 50% when we wield uh, basically a single weapon in both hands which is really cool uh, as you can see, if we go, for example, on uh, Ramza, right, and we try to do the same thing. We try to, you know, let's go with Eldritch Sword, uh, right, we had this previously. And this guy has double-handed, right? But now let's try to equip the same weapon that we had on Elfrida. Let's go with the Taylor Scissors. And as you can see, the damage went up, but that's just the weapon's damage, right? We don't have that extra bonus 50% because this is double hand, which requires the weapon to be a one-handed weapon for it to work. That's one of the cool things about true double hand is that for one, it, it works whether the weapon is two-handed or one-handed, as long as you don't have anything equipped uh, in the other hand. Anyways, uh, one other really cool advantage to true double hand is something called the damage variance, because Let's see, with Elfrida, right, it turns out that two-handed weapons have a much bigger damage variance than one-handed weapons do. I think, in fact, that two-handed weapons will have damage variance of about 130 to 150%, usually while one-handed weapons will only have, you know, around 100%, which means every time you attack, right, there's a bit of randomness to the attack damage, but that will be significantly higher for two-handed type weapons, which allows you to, you know, uh, up that damage output and deal tons of damage, which is really cool. Again, if we equip uh, some other equipment on Elfrida, let's get some more, uh, some uh, attack in here. Let's see, let's just go with the rip cap. Let's get some accessories, metal earrings, body, Okay, let's go with last one's clothes and another accessory. Let's go with the high wrist. As you can see, what this true double-handed does is increase uh, not just your character's base attack by 50%, but not just your weapon's attack by 50%, but all your equipment's attack by 50%, which can make this a really powerful ability to have. Now, let's go try this out. So I think, uh, like me, a lot of you, it was probably your first time hearing about this whole damage variance thing and how two-handed weapons have actually a higher uh, damage variance, but they, yeah, they deal more damage that way than one-handed weapons. So to illustrate what I'm saying, okay, we're back here with the abominable wooden soldier, and I've had, I have, a, ooh, whoops, whoops, I have Elfrida equipped with a one-handed weapon as you can see here the Terminator sword you see it's got machine killer but it's a one-handed weapon 114 attack damage and as you can see my t total attack is now 346 now let's go ahead and try to attack and see how much damage we do so let's go once over here well, that's actually a lot of damage uh, let's see let's keep going as you can see, we got, you know, 7,489. That's quite different from the first one we got. And again, it's about 8,600. Yeah, we're getting some pretty decent numbers. That's also not bad, 9,200. Let's go a couple more times. Getting some pretty decent numbers, but it doesn't change all that much. And it's pretty low compared to what we would get with two-handed weapons. So. Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Let's go to the menu, let's equip our Alfreda. So remember, we have 346 damage right now. 
And let's equip the Taylor Scissors. Now we have 332 damage. That's less attack damage than we had before. Uh, and let's go try and do this same trial with this new weapon. So even though we had less attack damage, let's see how much damage we can output here with the bigger damage variance on two-handed weapons. Let's go one. Okay, we got the low end of the spectrum, 8,500. Going again. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's nearly 13,000 damage. Going again. We got the low end of the spectrum again. 8,000 damage. But then you keep going. And on average, the damage output for two-handed weapons will actually be much higher. Look at that. We got nearly 18,000 damage. Something that would be impossible with the one-handed weapon. And something that will be a regular occurrence if you use a two-handed weapon just because of that higher damage variance. A higher total damage output on the two-handed weapons as compared to the one-handed weapon. Okay, so we just went through a lot of stuff, a lot of new information that was new to even to me just until very recently. Let's see if I can, if I got this all down. We went through dual wield, right, an ability which lets you wield two one-handed weapons, one in each hand. We had double hand, which lets you wield a one-handed weapon uh, with two hands, basically and giving you an extra 50% damage uh, output with not just your weapon, but all of your equipment plus 50% damage, pretty cool. And then we have the true double-handed, which lets you wield any kind of weapon, basically, be it one-handed, be it two-hand, uh, and use two hands for that and increase 50% damage with that. A lot of stuff, a lot of details. I hope you were able to follow along. I hope you understood uh, my explanations uh, because they can come in handy for me personally like I mentioned before I was using Hyo I had uh, just under 400 damage you know 390 something damage because I was using a regular weapon and I also had a shield equipped with my Hyo but he's not a dual wield type character he's actually a double hand type character which means that you'll actually gain that plus 50% attack damage if you have that one-handed weapon equipped with nothing else in your other hand. Uh, accompanied, you know, with other equipment like, I got think it's shields, gloves or something like that, it gives you even bigger bonus, which can really help your party and your overall damage output because my hero now has like 700 something damage, which is pretty amazing, right? Just from changing that small piece of equipment, just from removing a piece of equipment, something that I never would have been able to imagine myself. So again, very useful things. And again, that's one of the things that I love about this game, right? It's just how much depth there is to it. There's always new things you can learn, and even when you think you've got it all, there's always something else, something new, a new way to become stronger, a new way, a better way to do things, a new way to improve, more things to learn. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it and I hope you can use this with your own battles and your own party. This was the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Global Channel and I'll see you next time.